ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਨ ਕਮੈਮੋਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਮੈਮੋਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਸੋਢੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਬਾ ਬੁੱਢਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਫਰ ਦੈ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਪੁਰਬਸ um we got today today and we've brought on by sukhinda singh sukhi baba ji from the uk to do a talk a lecture on both of their lives of of their jeevan um so sukhi baba ji please take it away wai ji ka khalsa wai ji ki fateh um so uh thank you very much everybody and i hope uh you guys are all well um and uh thanks again for inviting us to share uh, a few um sort of uh, lines from our from our history uh on Tantini Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj and uh, Baba Budda Ji so um Maharaj Tantini Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj so we'll do their jeevan first uh, and then um, we'll talk about Baba Budda Ji and then at the end I'll try and take a few questions before we uh, begin just going to do a mool mantra jap and then we'll get straight on with it wai gudi ka khalsa wai gudi ki fateh ek ohankar sat naam karta purkh nirbhao nirvair akal murat ajuni sai bhang gur prasad jap aad sach jugaad sach hai pi sach nanak husi pi sach wahe guru vahe guru vahe guru vahe guru tan sir guru ramdas ji maharaj so just to talk about guru sahib ji's background the historical evidence that we find about guru sahib ji's background um in sri dasam granth sahib so when guru sahib ji talks about the lineage where it all started and with uh, guru nanak dev ji maharaj like how where their lineage come comes from uh you've all have heard the shabd tin bedian ki kul bikhe uh pragde nan karaye sab sikhan ko sukh de jata pai sahai so similarly uh just before maharaj gets to that guru sahib ji talks about um what happened in history and how these different like you had the bedi clan and then obviously they had the uh sodi clan sodi clan was where guru ram dasi maharaj was from and also palla the palla clan which where guru amar dasi maharaj was from and uh, i believe is uh, trehan uh, clan as well where guru angad dev ji maharaj was from so it's important to understand um that when um an avatar has come to this earth there has been a a sort of like a sort of a selection of of lineage purely because of their their karm so they then get bestowed like the honor of hosting like an avatar and uh, similarly in before guru nanak dev ji maharaj if you look at the the hindu dharm they've had the avatars of vishnu so you had the avatar as ramchandar uh, and then obviously you had the avatar uh, you know sri krishna and then obviously there's like jobis avatar of vishnu ji and they've come in like different sort of uh, uh, sort of in your know, families and, and lineages and uh, this again is all chosen by pramatma himself um, where they're going to take uh, their avatar so it's due to the sodi clans uh the previous guru sahib ji talks about uh that uh guru ram das ji maharaj their prakash happened in that clan okay ji so if you trace it back so like i was saying in according to hindu dharm you had the avatars of vishnu and vishnu has, has come down to so like a perform a task uh, in the world uh you know set some uh sort of uh, wrongs uh, to right and you know so on and so forth but when uh, there that of dar uh, sort of um, coming to um to earth sort of ended with like jobis of dar although 
uh, it is believed that there is one avatar still remains of Vishnu to come. So um, Guru Sahib Ji then talks about the avatar of Vahe Guru. Now, this is separate. Okay, so we got to look at Vishnu was considered as Bhagavan, as God by obviously uh, Hindus, and he still does. Whereas Guru Sahib Ji looks at uh, Vishnu as obviously uh, Ek Sansari, uh, Ek Pandari, Ek Laidi, Baan Lai, In Japji Sahib Maharaj, that they are created by Vaheguru to perform a task. And they've come into like these different uh, lineages before, like different clans. So one of the avatars of Ramchandra uh, um, had happened in the, in the family of someone called Dasrat. So das Dasrat had a, his father had a lot of bhakti. Um, so then Vishnu came into his house as his son. And then he had, uh, Ramchandra had two sons. Their names were Love and Kush. Okay. And then uh, from those two sons, then came the two clans, Bedi clan, where you got Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, then Bedi and Kikulmike, and then Sodhi clan. And uh, Guru Sahib Ji writes in Sri Dasam Khan Sahib that it was, so the way you got to look at it is you have to, and obviously Maharaj had to come uh, and have his Prakash somewhere. So it was chosen in the, the Sodhi clan, the Sodhi bunch. And it comes about like this. Uh, Guru Sahib Ji, uh, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj explains, it says, Tritiye bed, sunbo tum kiya, chatr bed, sunpu ko diya, teen janam hum hum jab tar hai, chothe janam guru tohe kar hai. So this is talking about, you know, my, um, without kind of losing everybody, uh, just, you know, briefly, Guru Sahib Ji was talking about this. So the two sons, and their descendants, one of them, they did a lot of bhakti, okay? Uh, and then uh, they were known, they were known as like the reciters of Bed because they did a lot of uh, bhakti with the, uh, with the Bed, they read a lot of Bed, so they're known as the Bedis. And then also uh, the, the other son, uh, where the Sodhi clan comes from, they, so they did uh, a lot of seva, they bas basically, uh, the kingdom that they had, they gave uh, that as uh, an offering to um, to the Bedi clan, and and in return, the Bedi clan said that when a Kalpurka Vaheguru Vaheguru comes on Earth and takes a form on Earth, in his fourth form, uh, he's gonna be coming into the Sodhi clan. As like, because uh, they they renounced everything, they renounced their kingdom, and they devoted the rest of their life in, into bhakti meditation. And as a reward, this is what the prophecy was that when Akal Purka Vahiguruji would come in the fourth form. So they're talking about obviously uh, the Das Padshan and Das Guru, and the fourth being Guru Ram Das Imaraj. They would be then. Uh, 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 I don't want to use the. I shouldn't use the word born, but it's Prakash would happen. Okay, so this was already like foretold, and this was already the prophecy that uh, Guru Ram Das Ji would be coming into the the Sodhi clan. So Guru uh, Ram Das Ji Maharaj, so their uh, Prakash uh, happened, and um, it is said that uh, it's actually written in history. Uh, in Sri Surat Prakash Granth, that when Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj uh, Prakash happened, Prakash took place. The so like early in the morning, so all the Jere Nam Japanwale people who would do Aradhana like in the morning, early in the morning would would go to a nearby like Nadi, like a river, to you know take their uh, uh, you know Ishnan, take their bath. As they went, because obviously in them days it used to be like really dark, they couldn't really see, uh, you know, much. But what had happened, those who went to have Ishnan and then they basically used to then fill their like kare, their utensils with pani to bring back home to use. And what happened as they uh, filled all their pandi utensils and they came back home. And when like, you know, uh, there was daylight, they saw that that water was actually milk dud. 
So that day, the Nadiya were actually full with milk, so to kind of um, say that the Prakash of Vahiguru had happened and like in Kushi, like uh, so to it's like in that in that that happiness uh, to uh, to show that the world the earth itself uh, was so happy with the coming of the uh, Jyothe Padsha uh, Sodhi Sultan Guru Ram Dati Maharaj that the Nadia basically turned from Pani to uh, to milk so um, this was when Guru Sahib Ji Maharaj's uh, Prakash happened Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj so from a, a very like uh, young age guru uh, ram das ji so just uh, going back on the 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 date itself so the the date that is recorded in history is kattaka vadi duj so the duj means second so this is the month of kattaka vadi so that's stupid you know uh, when you have the the full moon and the obviously uh, when you have masya so the Sudhi and Vadi used to do with that and 1591 when Guru Sahib uh, Prakash happened. And uh, this was uh, obviously Lahore Devich, you know, Maharaj uh, Prakash Hoya. And uh, Guru Sahib Ji, from, it is said that from a, a young age, Guru Sahib Ji is uh, like, they're, uh, they were such a beautiful child and they had, you know, such a uh, sort of calming and pleasant uh, in the features as a child um, and uh, Guru Ram Das Ji was bestowed with uh, immense like Shakti power because obviously they are like Pramatmas uh, you know sort of avatar on, on earth and uh, Guru Ram Das Ji they were the, the uh, their fathers uh, by Hardas Ji and uh, they had a, a younger brother as well uh, his name was Bhai Hardialji and they had a, had a sister, uh, Bibi Ram Dasi. Guru Ram Dasi, then uh, from, uh, from obviously in, back in those days, as a, like the eldest son, there, there was that responsibility that was always put upon you, uh, that to kind of then, you know, uh, follow in the footsteps of the father and if there was a family business or whatever, to kind of like you know follow that and also um, become like the, the breadwinner in the in the family as well. And the father would you know teach the child uh, the ways the you know the the world and kind of uh, doing their kirtakmai. So um, similarly, when Guru Sahib you are slightly older, their father uh, uh, by Hardas Ji, they said to Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj that, um, you know, now is the time for you to sort of like, you know, grow up in, in them days, like, you know, when you were quite young, even like, you know, age of 10, 12, you were, um, you know, expected to kind of like earn your keep. And, um, you know, so similarly following that sort of tradition, and they said, look, you know, you need to go out and, you know, make a living. Uh, so obviously, uh, Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj, and said, you know, uh, Father, what would you like me, you know, to do? And then it was decided that Maharaj would go and sell like, pujeshole, like you know, uh, boil like chickpeas. And uh, Guru Sahib's nature was always very like uh, caring and carefree, um, and also just similarly uh, as the previous Guru Sahibs. And like, if we relate this next uh, part of the Saki to Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, when they were given. Uh, 20 rupees to go and you know sort of start a business and they actually spent all that money um on the on feeding the the, the sadhu similarly guru ram Ji maharaj when they went out and they they had prepared the the food to sell and uh, there was a um a sort of a, a sadhu uh who uh, who came and obviously sadhus don't have any money Right, uh, there was no like, didn't have no uh, credit card, no money, no nothing. Right, so he was just coming uh, uh, and asking for food. And uh, obviously, this is like Brahmatma, Vahiguru Ji creates his own play. So he's like, it's important to understand that Vahiguru himself is the, the giver and the receiver as well, just to show something to the world. So, you know, Brahmatma in the form of that 
you know, holy person on one side as a receiver is going to uh, another form of himself, Paramatma, that is Guru Ram Dasi Maharaj as the giver. So they go, uh, so he goes and says, Be, you know, please, uh, you've got some food here, I, I would like some. And, you know, sort of one handful, Guru Ram Dasi Maharaj, you know, gave that to the, the sadhu, but he wasn't really uh, satisfied with that. So he wanted, you know, one more and, you know, more and more. And then Guru Ram Dasi Maharaj realized that the, the sadhu actually needs all of it. So what he does, without obviously taking any money, he takes and empties the, the whole basket, you know, into like his his jewel, his jewel eyes, like you know, bag and say, look, you know, just take that. And uh, obviously, when he came back, sim- like you know, drawing like uh, similarities uh, with the Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Saki of the twenty rupees sample ke sadhu, when Guru Sahib Ji Maharaj uh, came back. And the father obviously was you know, not uh, happy that uh, Guru Ram Dasi Maharaj has, you know, has, has done that. Um, but um, Maharaj actually felt um, sort of uh, the, the pain of saying, you know, disappointing you know, my, my father. And so, you know, obviously they had uh, a true like tears in their eyes as well. But it just shows what Maharaj's heart was like from a you know, young age. And uh, he would it'd be exactly the same as in you know, the previous Guru Sahib. So anybody, any needy person who, you know, was in need for, of, of anything, food, clothing, whatever it was, and whatever Maharaj had, um, Maharaj would, would uh, actually go and, uh, you know, give, and give that to them. So Maharaj uh, sort of, you know, with that nature, sort of growing up, and one day Guru Dasi Maharaj saw Sangat, they were passing through Lahore, obviously this is where they were, and they asked the Sangat Bi Dusi Kate Chalehana and then they uh, said that they're going to see TJ Patsha Guru Ram Dati Maharaj and going to go in the Bhav Sahib. Um and uh, they uh, so what happened Maharaj the Guru Ram Dasi Maharaj um, that like a catch, you know, sort of like uh, when you have that pull uh, to kind of you know go to the Guru Karu when you have that pull to go and see Maharaj, that pull uh, took Maharaj to go and join that Sangat, and uh, so Maharaj you know wanted to actually do that, and uh, also upon Guru Tarna. So Guru Sahib then you know went with the with the Sangat. They went and they stayed at Goindwal Sahib, and then they did seva of Maharaj, and they got you know immense you know blessings from Guru Sahib Ji. And whilst they would be there, their like sort of nature of doing seva, serving, uh, Maharaj carried that on. Because Guru Amar Das Ji, obviously, as we know, Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj is like the embodiment of seva, and which was just passed on. And then, you know, Guru Ram Das Ji Pasa Maharaj was when it was Langar uh, Seva Karni, just Pandya Diyo, Maharaj Ji Jishnan Di Seva, or any kind of seva, Guru Sahib Ji would be like taking the lead. And Guru Sahib Ji would, would say very few words. And uh, whatever job, Bani, that you know, Maharaj, Guru Ram Dasi Maharaj bestowed upon them, they would just be doing their job. So Naam Japiyana, and then you know, they would be doing their seva. So everybody uh, sort of were really like not impressed, but they were like really touched by Guru Ram Dasi Maharaj. So obviously, they were impressed by Maharaj Shiva, but it was more than that. It was like, like you know, touch their heart, like kind of, they're like uh, in their heart, almost like they knew that they're going to be like the next, you know, Guru Babacha. So um, they did, you know, seva there. And obviously, you know, back in the day, uh, obviously uh, they used to get you know, married. People used to get married uh, quite a young age. So uh, Guru... Amar Das Ji Maharaj, so their daughter was of age to be married, uh, Bibi Pani Ji. The Guru Sahib Ji then uh, asked their Mahal, their wives, that uh, uh, we should do uh, our Putri's daughter's Rishta. And in those days, not that Maharaj kind of you know, puts any import- importance on uh, any particular you know, caste or creed, uh, but in those days, the Brahmins used to, the Prohots used to, you know, 
is to help people doing and you know arranging rishte uh and marriages and things like that so Maharaj just asked the the brahman and he was like a, obviously you know uh the brahmans who were attached to Maharaj, Maharaj's feet they were all like you know in a sense they might have been brahmanas like you know from the appearance or like but they were like basically Maharaj they sick and um when they asked him they grew uh for to find a suitable match and um so he turns around and he he's like obviously he knows in his heart that us there can't not be any other suitable match other than uh guru ram das in maharaj uh for guru amar das in maharaj's daughter so um, he says to maharaj that guru sahib ji uh what sort of um you know uh, a var like a husband do you, do you seek for your daughter and uh, maharaj said that but do you have anybody in mind and then he says maharaj there is only one perfect uh uh sort of match and he's right here and this and that is you know tan tan guru ram das maharaj so um the rishta was was done and then maharaj's uh you know marriage uh, it takes place mardan nadkar and everybody was so happy uh with the with the whole uh, anand karaj so the, the marriage that took place because as i said everybody's hearts were touched by guru ram das in maharaj that's why you know people used to you know uh, they would sing tan tan ram das guru jin sirya tane sawarya um and you know puri hoy karamat aap sirjan hare tarya so guru sahib ji maharaj uh, the, the the wedding uh, it was well received by everybody and you know guru maharaj guru ram das ji maharaj uh, then just just stayed uh, with the um, with the family and just did um, didn't go back to lahore but just stayed at goindwal sahib ji maharaj and uh, as they were uh, obviously you know carry on living out their their, their life their jeevan uh things were were happening and uh, it would be then coming to the time where guru ram das ji would then you know take over and become become the guru and uh, uh simultaneously what was happening obviously as the the just like uh in you know, the, the glory of Gunanak Dev Ji Maharaj's house and Guru Amar Das Ji, who was in charge at that time, grew. The the sort of established term at the time, obviously the Hindu term and the Islam Muslim term, uh, they were like kind of taking notice, especially like the Hindu term were taking notice because they saw uh, Guru Sahib Ji like from a Khatri background, a Khatri caste, and they were like. well you know it's part of uh, hindu term and uh, why don't they but they don't even follow any of the the, the hindu term riyada so uh, what they saw maharaj was as a threat they were like saying they are basically brainwashing people and starting obviously to them they say like you know the he start in his own term and that needs to be stopped so uh, the only way they could do that was to basically go right to the top and uh ask the emperor to intervene and uh, so they went the pandits all these they got together they went and they said um, to akbar that you should take notice of this new term that has started that uh there are people from muslim term and from hindu term they are joining uh this new term that's been you know been introduced and if you're not careful then uh, it could just spread and become a problem uh, for you and i'm sure you don't want that and uh, so akbar you know he was he was like obviously you know a mughal raja like but he was a bit siana as well like he was thinking okay you know people always you know, come up with a lot of complaints and things like that but i need to check it out so um but then he asked them he goes what is actually what is your actual problem uh, with them so they said look you know they he is from a khatri background khatri caste and he should be following the like hindu term and they, they should be uh, reciting the gayatri mantras what we do uh, as kshatris they should be doing that 
ਗਾਇਤਰੀ ਮੰਤਰ ਪੜਨਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬਟ ਹੀ ਦੇਵ ਸਾਈ ਦੇਵ ਐਂਡ ਦੇਰ ਓਨ ਮੰਤਰ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਹੋਰ ਪੜੀ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਦੇ ਦੋ ਬਲੀਵ ਇਨ ਦੇ ਬੁੱਧਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਈਡਲਸ ਐਂਡ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਥੈਟ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਆਪੋਜ਼ਿਟ ਟੂ ਵਾਟ ਵੀ ਡੂ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਥਿੰਕ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਆ ਸੋ ਡਿਸਰਿਸਪੈਕਟਿੰਗ ਦ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਧਰਮ ਲਾਈਕ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਗੋਸ ਚਲ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਗੋਸ ਲੁੱਕ let me uh you know summon them here and then we'll speak to them so he sends uh, uh, uh sort of like you know if you want to call it summons or chitti uh for maharaj to come uh to akbar's uh darbar uh, the court of the uh, akbar and then um, when the the letter reaches they you know they have details of why they want them there but the complain and guru ram das ji maharaj uh and then obviously when it's read out to sangat the sangat's a bit a bit worried thinking that you know uh if they got the ear of akbar and he he can basically just do whatever so they were a bit apprehensive they're like you know what should we do maharaj that you know so are you going to go and maharaj said sanu jaan di lod ni i don't need to go i'm going to send guru ram das maharaj so but ram guru ram das maharaj stood up and they said maharaj but the thing is i am not a scholar i'm not any gyanwan like you know i don't know they're going to throw so many questions at me i'm not going to you know know how to answer them uh but you know sort of i i can't go maharaj i'm not prepared the guru sahib he said don't worry maharaj said that any questions they ask you or they ask you to do anything they said look if they ask you you ask you to recite anything or whenever you become be unsure Mara said that look just look at your right arm and all the answers will appear to you uh and I will speak through you in a sense right by giving you the gyan the wisdom so guru ram das ji maharaj goes to akbar's court and then akbar then says look this is the complaint against you that you don't actually read gayatri mantra that you don't you don't know anything about the the hindu dharma yet you guys are kind of uh in a way set like a uh you know competition against the 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 hindu dharma and they take offense to it and then um they said that do you even know the gayatri mantra that's what the pandit said look they don't even know the gayatri mantra and yet they refuse it um, so at that point then guru ram das ji maharaj remembers guru amar das ji maharaj is bachana looks at his arm and then all the answers just kind of you know uh, appear to maharaj and then they actually all the gyan is just like almost like you know it's been installed like you know you install a software or like it's just been installed and uh, then maharaj recited not just recited the gayatri mantra but with the kat- part of the mantra as well the gayatri mantra and it was something that not even the pandits have ever like kind of you know thought about or had it from how maharaj explained it um and then after hearing it even akbar was so impressed although it was a mantra of the hindus but he was really impressed by uh, guru uh, ram das ji maharaj's um sort of recitation and the the vyakhya la katha ave so then he looks over to the pandits and he says look have you got any questions uh that you know what you just witnessed and obviously they were like you know dumbfounded they're like we ain't got a clue you know we, this guy just basically floored us with his gyan like of guy three months and if we ask him anything uh else then you know we're gonna look even more stupid so it's best to not say anything and, lo- and leave so then they leave and akbar is really like kind of happy and then that was also like a in a way a sort of a friendship of that uh the between the guru kar and the mughal sort of you know emperor which sort of obviously uh you know started with gurunanak dev ji maharaj and uh, babar and you know so on and so forth and he was carrying on um and then that even actually improved relationships and you know akbar sort of understood uh that you know this isn't just like a cult or doesn't like you know but these are you know industry bit up they bande aa bhi so then you know sort of uh, guru ram das ji maharaj decides to then you know leave leave then and as they coming back they going through the market uh, in lahore 
And Lahore was like a busy market, marketplace. And then uh, Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj sees this like beautiful like kapra and um, sees like beautiful like, you know, a sort of, uh, uh, you know, sort of gems and things like that. And then in his mind, he's thinking that it'd be so amazing if I can actually buy this for Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj. It's going to look really good on Maharaj. If anybody deserves to wear this beautiful robe is Guru Amar Das Ji. But it was too expensive. They didn't have enough money to buy it. But in their mind, they started thinking. In their mind, they like, you know, uh, if I bought this uh, and I would be taking it to Maharaj, and then I would get Maharaj to actually wear it. So in their mind, they're going through the whole process of actually they've bought the, the robe and they're taking it to the Guru Kar and then they're actually uh, helping Maharaj put the, the robe on. So in their mind, they're seeing all of that. And as they're doing that, Guru Sahib Ji, Ramur Das Ji Maharaj, sitting in going the Wal Sahib, they started moving their arms as if like they were putting on a, a robe. So his Sangat sitting there was like a bit, there was by Baluji, um, there was one of the uh, Gorsiks that was sitting there, he was watching Maharaj, he was like, what's Maharaj actually doing, like moving his arms? You know, they couldn't understand. Uh, but what Maharaj was actually doing, as Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj, like out of love, so much love, they were putting the, the robe on Maharaj, Maharaj was actually putting the robe on as well. Right, so like accepting their uh, uh, like you know a gift like thought you know like the word uh, comes to mind the the phrase uh, it's the thought that you know <laughs> counts and it's not just for pe cheap people like me who like you know buy like cheap presents for people as they say it's the thought that counts but in 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 like this true sense that whatever like sort that you have towards Maharaj. If you don't have the samartha, like if you don't have the means to actually do that seva for Maharaj, but and you like kind of be handicapped by by whatever your majburi is, right? Uh, but the fact that you actually thought with so much brain, uh, you know, Maharaj actually receives that, you know, so sort of instantly. Um, so you know, I'm not like trying to give you like a you know uh, a shortcut, like a cheaper way of like you know <laughs> giving Maharaj. You know, presents and you know, gifts. You know, if you, if you can, you should like uh, give Maharaj beta, like you know. But uh, but at that time, Guram that he didn't have. And then also, uh, then Maharaj went on, and there's another incident uh, that takes place uh, same time. Then uh, as then Maharaj has done that, then he goes, he goes past this like uh, a really like that's got a, a fruit like mango on it, and they like, look really nice, tasty. So. Guru Sahib, he buys one and he's saying, I'm going to give that to Maharaj Lapeta. But as they were taking it, the next day, what happened, as they were carrying it, the, obviously the next day, the, the fruit wasn't as fresh. So they were like, Maharaj, by the time I get to go in the Wild Sahib, this, you know, it's not going to taste them or it might go off. So, you know, Maharaj, I want you to have the, the mango, right? With that in mind, and Guru Sahib Ji actually had the, the mango, but they were thinking of Guru, Ram, Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj actually tasting that. And uh, back in Goindawal Sahib, Guru Sahib Ji uh, receives that, that, that fruit, and uh, there's like a, a, a get a like the hard bit that's in the middle. Then the, that appears, and Guru Sahib Ji gives that to Pai Baluji, who's actually watching again Maharaj, like, you know, doing something that he doesn't understand. So then Maharaj, you know, uh, so he then gives that to Pai Baluji and says, look, put this, this getak like this hard bit of the mango and put it by the window. Um, and, it, you know, because it is uh, a Nishani-like evidence that I have received Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj, I have received your gifts. Like. So when uh, Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj comes and then they see and then the Maharaj shows him that the get can and then Guru Sahib Ji is like, you know, his, his tears like, you know, doesn't stop. And he's like, wow, Maharaj, you know, I did that with like, you know, Prem and, and you know, you were actually connecting with my Prem and you received all those dart. And as an evidence, he sees that get, that mango's get. Um, 
and it's just like that that sort of love between uh you know guru amar das ji pasha mar guru ram das ji maharaj so the uh that was like uh an incident where um they like kind of obviously you know uh, became became one and the gurta gaddi was uh then eventually passed on to guru ram das ji but before the gurta gaddi was passed on to guru ram das ji maharaj um they like i said you know everything uh is like a play that maharaj creates um sometimes the play might be like kind of confusing to see of why you know like this and what i did this that way but there's always like a message for guru message guru sahib ji chana like sort of you know give to us um they call bibi pani ji guru amar das ji maharaj and said their daughter they said that, that look guru ram das ji maharaj their like uh life is supposed to end today guru ram das ji maharaj life is supposed to end today they you uh you know do you, do you have any like kind of you know uh wishes and bibi pan he obviously said like what else you know sort of maharaj i could ask for but you taught us to live in uh pramatma vahigru's will his hukum uh but what wife would like to see you know her husband like pass away at such a young age and you know if your husband was guru ram das maharaj and said maharaj like you know I, you know what's in my heart and uh, guru arjan dev ji maharaj so guru amar das ji maharaj said la putri that you know you you have kind of passed that you know obviously test and know what's in your heart and you're ready to accept parmatma's will which is what i wanted to see and you have but mara said look you know uh because of that the remaining years of my life i'm going to give to guru ram das ji maharaj so guru uh amar das ji maharaj had 6 years 11 months and 18 days left um with uh of his of his life so mara ji then obviously then gave gave that to guru guru ram das ji maharaj uh and then obviously guru uh, amar das ji maharaj then became jyoti jyot and uh they you know obviously merged into uh the formless form of parmatma vahigu and guru ram das ji maharaj uh became guru sahib ji so there is like countless other like sakhiya uh from uh, guru ram das ji maharaj but i just wanted to share you know those two because obviously we're going to talk about uh baba buddha ji as well now uh so without further ado i'm just going to go you know get on get straight straight to it so sorry to kind of like stop quite abruptly there uh because i'm just conscious of the time as well um so baba buddha ji uh was um uh born on the like, month of kattak as well so sat kattak nu guru apne baba buddha ji da ਜਨਮ ਹੋਇਆ ਇਨ 1563 ਬਿਕਰਮੀ ਸੋ 1563 ਬਿਕਰਮੀ ਐਂਡ देयर ਫਾਦਰਸ ਨੇਮ ਵਾਸ ਬਾਈ ਸਵਾਗਾ ਐਂਡ ਮਾਤਾ ਗੌਰਾ देयर ਵਾਸ ਦੇ ਮਦਰਸ ਨੇਮ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਬਿਲੋਂਗ ਟੂ ਅ ਜੱਟ ਸੋਰ ਆਫ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਸੋ ਯੂ نو ਦੇ ਵੁੱਡ ਡੂ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਖੇਤੀ ਬਾੜੀ ਸੋ ਐਗਰੀਕਲਚਰ ਵਾਸ देयर ਲਾਈਕ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸ਼ਨ ਹਨਾ ਐਂਡ baba buddha ji was named bura bura uh, uh as a child so they when uh, baba buddha ji was, was young they the family moved from uh, uh, to uh, to ramdas a uh, pend called ramdas from place called kathunangal uh, and uh, by bura ji was just uh, in your know, seven years of your know, age uh and around us uh, buraji was always would watch the sangat uh of guru nanak dev ji maharaj go and do darshan of maharaj who was going to travel to kartarpur and he always wanted to go uh, to travel to kartarpur sahib because he would see that um that you know these uh that the sangat that always goes and comes back with so much red you know sort of like uh uh energy a radiance like that i want to go and see this person who actually um they go and see obviously that was guru nanak dev ji maharaj and obviously you know baba buddha ji had a few questions as well 
that he wanted to ask. And that was just like at the age of seven. But obviously, they you know couldn't travel uh, because they couldn't go by themselves because they were just you know quite quite young. But they would always uh, go and you know always would want to travel to see Gunana Devi Maharaj. So, you know, he just basically waited, uh, hoping that one day Gunanak Devi Maharaj would come. And obviously, Kata Kata Ke Antar Ki Janata, Guru Sahib Ji knows, like, the inner, you know, hearts, uh, uh, what's going on. If somebody wishes to have their darshan, Maharaj would act. If they can't come to Maharaj, Maharaj would go there. So, Guru Sahib Ji often, like, you know, visit other places near Kartarpur Sahib. Uh, and then uh, with Pai uh, Mardana Pai, uh, Balaji Mardana Ji, and uh, so they came to Ramdas uh, village, where obviously Baba Buddha Ji was from. And they said to be the um, Pai Mardana, and then this is what they would do anywhere they would go, they would just start doing Kirtan. So they said to Pai Mardana Ji, be to see Rabab Vijao, the Bani Aya, the Apa Kirtan Kriya. So then they started the Kirtan, and uh, you know, once you can imagine that, you know, Gurnanak Dev Ji is doing kirtan and they're singing the rag and bani and then you know the music is played by Pai Mardana Ji himself so you can imagine like the atmosphere of the mahal so a large number of like sangat came from the husband and they all gathered and uh, obviously when uh Buddha, which is by buddha ji heard of that he just went running and he you know took an offering with him uh with guru sahib ji knew, um, and then uh, they, uh, after like, you know, Guru Sahib Ji, so they just remained sat there after all the Sangat uh, who was there, you know, done Darshan of Maharaj, and they all went back to, you know, whatever they were doing. And then Baba Buddha Ji stayed, and at the end, Guru Sahib Ji presents the, the Dodd to Maharaj. And uh, Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj then says, Be, tu are? Like, who, who are you? What's your name? Uh, and where are you actually from? And then Baba Buddha Ji says, like, My name is you know, Buddha. And I, actually, I'm from this Pindar Ram Das. You know, my father is a small farmer. And he goes, Maharaj, I, for so long, I wanted to have your darshan, but I couldn't have your darshan because I'm, you know, I'm so like small, like seven, seven years of age. That Maharaj, I couldn't come. And he was just like, Imagine that a seven year old, you know, speaking to like obviously in today's day and age, some Sant Mahapur can like they're saying that I really wanted to have your darshan, but I was unable to because most kids in seven years of age is too occupied with like, you know, playing games and whatever it is that they're doing. But it's him, I wanted to see you for such a long time. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, Be kyo, why do you want to do that? And then he said that, Maharaj, that's the only way I can um, sort of conquer death. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj was like, oh, a seven-year-old child, you know, thinking about like conquering death. That's just like, you know, uh, not what a child would say. And uh, Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, oh, look, Bab, uh, Bure, you know, like they said, you're only seven, you got the rest of your life to live. Why are you thinking about death? And uh, uh, Baba Buddha Ji turns around and obviously Baba Buddha Ji says, Maharaj, yes, I am only seven, but he goes, Maharaj, something happened. Something happened that made me uh, think about, about death, even coming to a child. And uh, Maharaj said, Wiki, why are what? He goes, my mother, uh, she was getting ready to, to cook and she said to me, get the lakra and kindle the fire, lakra. And uh, as I was trying to, you know, light the, the big, like bigger lakra, the, the larger, like, you know, uh, wood, uh, um, they wouldn't burn. 
So my mother said, no, get those small, like, you know, firewood first, the small, and get them, burn them first, and that will catch fire then, the rest of them. And he goes, when I did that, the fire consumed the small lakra first, and then he consumed the bigger lakra. And I started thinking about death, that just like that, how fire is like death, and it's it consumes, doesn't matter how big or small, it consumes all. So I think there's no guarantee, Maharaj, that, you know, I would not be, uh, you know, sort of taken. And uh, Maharaj, that's what made me start thinking that I need to conquer death. And then Guru, when Guru Sahib Ji was hearing that from a Sat Saldan, Maharaj smiled and said, but, um, although you're a child, but you speak like a Buddha, like, you know, old person, or old man. So they started calling him a Buddha. So they said, Aj tera na, you know, Buddha ho gaya. So Baba Buddha Ji uh, became, their, um, became their name. So when uh, uh, Baba Buddha Ji then said, look, I'm going to stay uh, with you, Maharaj, I'm not going to go back to my house. So when uh, Baba Buddha Ji did not return to the house, then his parents, they came uh, and, you know, obviously searching for, for Baba Buddha Ji. And when they found Baba Buddha Ji, they said, look, now you need to come, come home. You know, and they said, look, I don't go to you know, I'm going to remain here, you know, with Satguru Ji. And they're like, you, <laughs> you're seven years of age. You can't just stay here, you know. So we don't know who they, obviously, they didn't know who Maharaj was. Uh, they said, you can't stay here with me, Maharaj. And they said, like, um, they, they recognized that, hang on, we, you know, sort of, uh, uh, he wants to be in the Sangat of Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj. But obviously, as parents, they, you know, were more, like, saying, concerned that he's too young. And uh, uh, they said, like, look, uh, Maharaj, so the parents said to Guru Nanak Devi Maharaj uh, that uh, you uh, obviously, you know, sort of he has sort of realized his soul of purpose and he's, we always knew he was like a special, you know, uh, child because the way he w was, the way he would talk, uh, that, you know, maybe his future is with you. So you have showered your blessings on him, Maharaj, and made, but he's made his mind to you know, join your 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 company, but Maharaj, you know, he's quite you know small, but he's a small child. And uh, when Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj uh, heard that, the Maharaj smiled. The Maharaj said, "No, he's no longer a small child. Only that now Buddha like you know. So by just by you know giving him the title of a Buddha, Maharaj gave them the wisdom of a Buddha as well. Like uh, so, they became not just a wisdom of a Buddha." But uh, a, a wise old person, but just like kind of like Brahm Gyan, you could say, like the Gyan wisdom of everything, Guru Sahib bestowed that upon him. So, um, obviously, uh, then Baba Buddha Ji, uh, you know, stayed with Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, and uh, they obviously then, uh, you know, uh, got married. Um, and I'm gonna try and uh, just be conscious of the of the time. Uh, just kind of talk about some of the the, the main sort of uh, incidents uh, from Baba Buddha Ji's life, and then you know sort of I will come to the conclusion. Um, they obviously um, when uh, when they stayed with Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, and then if I fast forward to by Lena Ji, so Guru Angad Dev Ji Maharaj. And uh, they actually, uh, when the time came to pass the Guru Gurta Gaddi, uh, by Baba Buddha Ji was chosen to put the, the telk of the, the Gaddi on like Guru Sahib. So, uh, and then Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj said that from now on, you shall uh, be the person uh, until such time then you know when you have to leave this earth then obviously your uh, 
your lineage, your family would carry on the tradition is to like inaugurate the the next guru. So like, that became their their seva, one one of the biggest seva. And uh, also because Baba Buddha he stayed with Maharaj like uh, the longest period in a sense, they Maharaj Guru Nanak Dev Maharaj taught them everything to be passed on. Like that included all the you know Rat Maryada like in terms of uh you know what Amartvela, Baniya, what you know the Singhs do, Sikhs do, uh everything. Uh so they were like the keeper of you know all the Rat Maryada and they would pass it on and the Vidya as well. One of the other things that Guru Nanak Devji Maharaj taught uh, Baba Buddha Ji was the art of Shastra Vidya, like the, the, the art of fighting, as you know, commonly known as Gatka. So, Maharaj also trained Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj because everything comes from Guru Nanak Dev Ji. All the Vidya, all the Gyan comes from Maharaj. They taught it to someone, which is Baba Buddha Ji, and then they passed it on to you know the next Guru and so on and so forth. So, they played a very key role in preserve, preserving all the tradition of the Guru Kar. Uh, they main co- remained quite key in preserving all the like that Rath Mariyada of the Guru Kar and uh, you know they would uh, pass it on. And obviously there's other sakya of uh, when you know Guru Sahib Ji Maharaj uh, went away uh, after you know getting the Gurtagadi, uh, they basically went a bit recluse. And then you know how Baba Buddha Ji went to actually get them uh, and brought them back to Sangat. Because they would, like I said, um, they would be the one would be keeping an eye on everything to making sure that Guru Kar's, you know, sort of like runs as he as he's meant to run. And if there's like, you know, sort of Sangatama, Maharaj has gone into like a deep, you know, tapasya meditation mode, you know, how to get Maharaj back from, like, which included Guru Angadevi Maharaj, happened to Guru Angadevi Maharaj, and obviously Guru Amar Dasi Maharaj when... Uh, uh, the, uh, by uh, Datuji who kicked uh, Guru Amar Dasi and they basically left uh, and they basically locked themselves uh, in, a, in, a, in a room. Then on the Janam Sakis of Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, Baba Buddha Ji, which was like the, the, oh, the, the biography of Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, uh, you know, um, oh, uh, Baba, uh, Baba Buddha Ji, they, uh, they were the ones who obviously, uh, when it was asked, when Guru uh, Angad Dev Ji Maharaj asked that, who stayed with, uh, they wanted to know about Guru Nanak Dev Ji's life. Baba Buddha Ji obviously replied that, you know, they, they know who who that is. And they, they actually got Bhai Bala Ji to come. And uh, then obviously you have uh, Baba Buddha Ji being involved uh, in uh, Guru Kachak, which is Amritsar the whole city. So Guru Ram Dasi Maharaj as they um, uh, started uh, the, the town of Amritsar, built the town of Amritsar. Uh, Baba Buddha Ji was the one like you know key figure in it. When uh, Harmandar Sahib, you know, uh, Darbar Sahib, uh, Sarovar, the Ram Das Sarovar was, was, was being dug up. And, um, Baba Buddha Ji was made in charge of all of that and Baba Ji Buddha Ji was also made in charge by Guru Arjun Dev Ji Maharaj when he came to the construction of the building of Harmandir Sahib. And Baba Buddha Ji would sit by, you know, uh, Baba Buddha Ji the bead. If you go to Harmandir Sahib in the Prakarma, you have like this tree, you know, uh, beer, uh, beeri, Baba Buddha Ji the beeri, jadi utte um, And then uh, Baba Buddha Ji would sit there and uh, conduct like, you know, the con- construction from there and uh, anybody would come and see. Uh, once um, there was somebody called uh, Vazir, Vazir Khan. He had a um, the old term for this. Uh, it's like when sort of water builds up in your like stomach or intestines or something, but it was causing a lot of pain for him, uh, and he couldn't really get it cured from anywhere. Somebody said, "Why don't you go to the Guru Kar and the Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj will mm-hmm. relieve that pain for you?" But uh, would have uh, what happened um, when he went to see uh, Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj. Maharaj actually sent them to Baba Buddha Ji and they said, um, Go and see Baba Buddha Ji. And Baba Buddha Ji was saying, uh, You know, 
ਬੇਰੀ ਬੇਰੀ ਤੇ ਬਾਬੂ ਦੀ ਬੇਰੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਦੈਟ ਪੀ ਬਾਰ ਐਟ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਵਨ ਵਜ਼ੀਰ ਖਾਨ ਕੇਮ ਦੇ ਹੀ ਹੀ ਸੈਡ ਲੁਕ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵਾਟਸ ਮਾ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਇਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਬਾ ਬੁੱਢਾ ਜੀ ਸਟ ਟੋਲ ਵਨ ਦਾ ਸੈਕਸ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਐਂਡ ਗੈਟ ਸਮ ਮਡ ਇਨ ਅ ਘੜਾ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਦੇ ਫਿਲਡ ਇਟ ਅਪ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਘੜਾ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਸੈਡ ਟੂ ਵਜ਼ੀਰ ਖਾਨ ਲੈ ਡਾਊਨ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਮਾਰਾ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਬਾਬਾ ਬੁੱਢਾ ਜੀ ਪਲੇਸ ਦਾ ਘੜਾ ਔਨ ਹਿਸ ਔਨ ਹਿਸ ਸਟਮਕ ਐਂਡ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਹਿਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਬਰੇਵਰ a uh, problem the the he was having that was all like kind of you know relieved and he became like you know sort of instantly he became like raji bev tandrus became well and then he went to touch baba buddha ji's feet and he said look don't touch my feet any like you know sort of vadai that i have powers i have they all come from guru guru arjan dev ji maharaj but it's just like it was just to show the satkar that guru arjan dev ji maharaj had for baba buddha ji because baba buddha ji all the gurus had for baba buddha ji to be honest to be fair uh, because they were there from gurunanak dev ji maharaj ji's time they have served all the the, the 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 gurus so it was just like there was an immense respect and you know in one sense that you know they they had already become one with with parmatma actually not in one sense but they had become one with parmatma and with guru sahib ji themselves they had all the powers all the shaktiyan and you know maharaj would like just to kind of you know uh do the jaja kar of his his like just to get the the praise of his devotees done maharaj would do that maharaj would just send uh, people to baba buddha ji and also one of the main uh you know sakis associated with baba buddha ji is uh, uh when uh, uh when uh, uh Uh, mata ganga ji went to guru arjan dev ji maharaj say look we you know uh, we haven't ha- we go- haven't got a child uh, the saint maharaj please do ardas pramatma that we have a child and uh, but guru arjan dev ji maharaj sent mata ganga ji to baba buddha ji to actually do the ardas uh, there was two reasons for that ek they they were giving satkar to baba buddha ji like you know sort of they want, wanted to give that glory a praise to baba buddha ji and to show the sangat that look mere ch te baba buddha ji ko fark nahi la there is no difference between me and baba buddha ji so that was one and the other was uh, their older brother baba prithi chand had basically put a curse on maharaj saying that uh, maharaj oh the thing was maharaj is paramatma himself you got to understand that if guru sahib ji cannot can never be cursed no one can actually curse maharaj or even if somebody did maharaj has the samartha to basically take care of that curse uh make it go away but what had happened maharaj still had from a worldly point of view they were his they were like his elder brother maharaj had the satkar like for his elder brother and they didn't want their words to kind of like you know go kali so that you know whatever their old elder brother had said they could not go against you know that so they could not uh basically uh get rid of that curse they, well they could they, but they didn't want to get rid of that that curse because it was from it was there it would be like going against what the elder brother had said so they they sent uh, uh that's why they sent mother ganga ji to baba buddha ji to do that and when baba buddha ji went obviously we know the saki went baba buddha ji crushed the the ganda you know in his hand and said look this power crushed uh this ganda that's how he's going to crush your your son that's going to be born you know crush the heads of the enemy uh so that was like you know sort of the uh, blessing uh, from you know baba buddha ji and then obviously baba buddha ji taught guru har gobind sahib ji maharaj all the vidya uh, as well and they were the ones who gave the two swords a uh, bidi and piri to guru um, uh hargobind sahib maharaj as well uh and um obviously then when the time came for when for baba buddha ji to then you know sort of uh, leave uh guru sahib ji uh asked for guru hargobind sahib maharaj to come they wanted to see have their darshan and when they came they obviously touched you know baba buddha ji's feet uh uh but you know baba buddha ji got up and you know touched maharaj ji's like you know sort of uh charan and then uh obviously then they you know they passed away but baba buddha ji was like an immense uh 
you know, sort of uh, seva of uh, uh, Baba Budari. They served like, you know, seven uh, Guru Sahib Ji Maharaj. Uh, and then, you know, their age was like, so they're like, you know, had an sort of like, uh, out of all the Gursikhs, they're the most blessed, like, Jeevan that Baba Budari had. So I'm going to stop talking there because I've talked enough. And um, I am uh, uh, sorry if I've kind of like uh, covered some of these talking up very quickly. If you have got any questions, uh, I think I've got about 10 minutes or so. I can uh, try and answer them. Hanji, why good you got also? Why good you give it? Hanji, we have uh, three questions. Um, yeah. is, that, is that all right? You guys don't waste any time, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, the first question is um, yeah. after doing seva at the Gordwara, mm-hmm. is eating from or in the langar taking away my seva? Is it best to just not eat langar and that way I can keep the file of my seva? Oh, mm, that depends what's made, you know. <laughs> if it's pizza and that, then, you know, I don't mind giving some of my seva, you know. <laughs> uh, no, but, yeah, it's a very good question, actually. And I think in history, um, uh, there is nothing, obviously, that you know, the, the, the langar is obviously blessed as well. It's got Guru Maharaj, he's like, and we shouldn't be eating langar as in, like, you know, like, you know, when my see me like queue up and my lights, my eyes lit up, you know, light up when I see like, you know, the Gurdwara turning on the, the pizza ovens and, you know, they got pizza and fries and samosa and the rest of it. And it's like a feast, you know what I mean? So um, it's supposed to be like for Lord, like what you need. So you can do seva and then just have a, obviously, Anything that you 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 you're taking away, you you having to give like some of it, you know, like you know, a bit of your kamai. If uh, but at the same time, that's how you keep the the seva like kind of alive as well. Because if nobody actually ate, then there'll be no seva of langar who would do seva like in your shagrani. So in a sense that you, even though you're giving a bit of your kamai, perhaps, but the thing is. It all comes back to you anyway, because when you're doing seva, you're basically helping each other. Andy. Just a follow up of that, um, I've heard some Gurdistics say that you should, maybe you can do a job type to kind of quote unquote burn it off. Burn the lungs <laughs> off. <laughs> burn, the, burn the calories. <laughs> uh, well, uh, maybe it works like both ways as well, like, you know, get rid of your access like you know uh in that case i think i'll have to get rid of my like did you know fat i have to do like a, a few hundred parts of it uh but anyway uh that is true um that the more barney that you read obviously you're getting you're putting a lot more into your account so you know uh that will always help so you know you should do that yeah absolutely Um, if I ask for uh, Lok Datan from Guru Ram Das Ji, will I get it? Mm-hmm. So Lok Datan means like worldly wealth, yeah? So if you ask for Lok Datan, if that's what I understood by that question. Um, yes, so, but it won't be like just, you know, we just ask Maharaj for money and, you know, that's it. But although Maharaj can, you know, give you, and obviously Guru has a Samaratha, and obviously we... Who else do we ask for, Hana? But end of the day, it's like um, what Maharaj will always give us, what is like good for us, and what we sort of you know what we need. If you need a tan, like really, like stuck, you know, you need tan, uh, then yeah, ask Maharaj. Maharaj would like you know make it available somehow. Something would happen. But not to kind of like, you know, become lazy like somebody like me, you know, going like, I don't want to work or anything. I just want to ask Maharaj, we, you know, to him, Maharaj, you know, sort me out. And, you know, so that that's obviously, you know, we all know that's like guilt. But Guru Sahib, has a samratha, lok tan, jo vi mara ko mangne Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj will give that, you know, sort of, you know, to you provided that. Uh, you have like a honest, clean heart that you know what you're going to do with that money and what you, what is it for your gujara, 
And if you just want to do like Ash Prasti, like, you know, uh, <laughs> then maybe Maharaj won't. So, you know, Maharaj definitely has a Samaratha to, to give it, yes. The, um, the last question. So, when the next Guru would take Prakash while the previous Guru still remained, for example, mm -hmm. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji being born to Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji, were they still the Puran Gur Avatar or did they only become the Puran Gur Avatar when they were given the Gur Gaddi? Yeah, so they 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 Puran uh, even before, so before like they come, so they because they like all Paramatmas like uh, like you know how Maharaj says Bani Jabe Anek Hain. So Maharaj has like his anek like form. So any of his anek form is just as complete Puran as like his ache form. So yes, so even though and then just to kind of like uh play like the worldly sort of um, you know sort of stage, Maharaj would act in a certain way, uh which to you know uh people or if you're just there to like kind of teach like i was saying maharaj is also like he's the giver and the receiver so like uh you know to kind of like convey a message so when before guru sahib you got the gurta gati they might do something or, or something might come across as be look you know a poor and good would already know this they wouldn't do this or that but you have to remember but this is how maharaj's play is they do it like janaki uh to kind of like you know show uh, something and give us a message. Okay, Pastor Ji, that's all the questions. Thank you so much uh, for coming on. I know your um, health wasn't that good and you're very busy as well. And you still, to see if any of us, any of the prabandhaks here have any, if any galti from us, please do forgive us. Uh, we always make mistakes. Okay. Um, it's too late. Also, too late. Just, 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 forgiveness. And to the Sangat who's listening, um, we actually currently there's a 30,000 Murmta job going on for Guru Nanak Dev Ji's Guru Prav, uh, Prakashivs. So um, if you want to be involved in that, um, go to the Guru Mak section. There's information that just, um, just how, how, however many Murmta you want to do, you can do them and you can add them to the form, the Google form. And you can, if you don't want to put your name, you can just put Gupt, Gupt Singh, Gupt Kaur, or just put Gupt in there. And you can add how much you have done and add it to the total count. Um, so, Baisabji, thank you so much once again. You, you, no whenever I've called you, you always come. Thank you for your for your prayer and love always. And you know, uh, hopefully, uh, do the uh, the virtual sangat, you know, again sometime. <laughs> you know, thank thank you so much, and uh, uh, I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you, Pasabji. Thank you, Ji. Wah, Guruji ka khalsa. Wah, Guruji ki fatih. Raj ke jikara ke jaave ne anu jaave tan tan Guru Ramda Sahib Ji tan tan Papa Buddha Ji de manu paave. Sat Sri Agal. Gurbara Kal. Wah, Guruji ka khalsa. Wah, Guruji ki fatih.